Hi everyone, I'm John. I'm a product manager in II. Today I'm going to give you some brief about uh, our II puzzle series. Okay. II puzzle series is a, a network of clients. Okay, this one, this page is showed our uh, agenda here. Uh, there are five us. There are three parts. The first part I'm going to show you uh, about the application of uh, our II puzzle series. And uh, I will show you the, our uh, puzzle and the PLM series uh, brief. And uh, the last one is a uh, puzzle development software kit. Okay. Okay, puzzle uh, could be a proprietary network appliance. Uh, in an IT uh, environment, you can see a lot of uh, devices like uh, SD WAN, uh, switch, load balance, or router. For cyber security, you can see some like uh, firewall, IPS, or UTM, or antivirus, anti worm such kind of uh, devices. So, uh, puzzle could be the hardware part of these devices, and uh, like uh, uh, you can implement uh, your uh, software, uh, network software, into our uh, puzzle series, and uh, that. A puzzle would be a proprietary network appliance. Of course, uh, we provide a different kind of uh, 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 devices like Intel platform, AMD platform, and uh, an XP Kevin and the Marvel. Okay, and then we provide this as a uh, like a uh, reference design that you can uh, test it, and uh, uh, we can do some like uh, customization. Okay, this is uh, the first. Uh, proprietary network appliance uh, application, and then for uh, like a uh, uh, proprietary network appliance, um, customer they can uh, also uh, buy our uh, parcel uh, to be a hardware part, and then they can install like a PFSense this kind of uh, software. Then uh, in after install uh, PFSense. Okay, the puzzle could be a, like a firewall. Okay, for example, our customer in Philippines, in the Philippines, uh, they purchase our uh, puzzle IN001 and install PFSense as a, like a firewall in the hotel uh, environment. Okay, this is uh, our uh, one of our uh, application. And the next is about uh, UCP and uh, NFV. Okay, UCP is a, a universal customer premise equipment, and it's uh, NFV and the, and the UCP uh, they come uh, together. Okay, uh, for example, in the IT um, environment, we you we have to purchase like a, a switch, firewall, router, and different kind of uh, devices. Uh, to build up an uh, IT environment. But if we use uh, the NFV technology, we can uh, use just a UCPE, like a puzzle, this uh, device. And uh, uh, in this device, we, we can create a, a net, uh, virtualization environment and install different kind of uh, uh, virtual function, uh, virtual network function. There. So you can see the pictures in, uh, on the left hand side uh, you can see di different kind of uh, device, network devices and uh, after we use the NFV technology then we can implement different kind of uh, VFN, uh, VNF virtual, fun, uh, virtual network function in the, in the system so it could be an all-in-one system uh, in a puzzle. So uh, they are uh, like uh, upper uh, or they, they can use this kind of uh, uh, solution, UCP solution, because uh, there are some advantage of uh, uh, UCP and NFP. The first, uh, uh, in this kind of uh, application, the, the Hardware part is uh, the standard hardware. We use the standard hardware in this 
in this field and uh, the, uh, it provides like a flexibility and a scalable and uh, zero touch deployment zero touch deployment means uh, we can, if we want to uh, deploy our uh, our service we just uh, uh, send out a device and uh, plug in the uh, network and uh, and uh, power uh, just power on and uh, we can use the uh, centralized uh, uh, like orchestration or we, we say that it's uh, orchestration to deploy to deploy the software in a uh, UCPE so that this uh, zero touch deployment is a big uh, advantage for uh, uh, the UCPE of course uh, we we can uh, uh, like all in one solution we can so the the power consumption is lower and uh, like uh, ex uh, expense and uh, the capital expenditure is uh, lower than proprietary uh, devices and uh, for the uh, NFV uh, technology or most of the the NFV technology they use the open source so we can we can also uh, use the open source to create this uh, environment and uh, this is the demonstration that we uh, we uh, we have in the uh, Computex in our boots. So you can see we uh, use the DBTK, OVS, KVN, and uh, OpenStack, Open Daylight to create a NFV envir environment. Okay. So uh, after after this uh, environment, we install a PF sense. So uh, for this this uh, demonstration, uh, parcel IN001 to uh, become a, a router and a firewall. Okay, we use uh, the NFV technology. Yes, and uh, next is about uh, the uh, edge computing and the AI inference systems. For the AI uh, application, there are diff two uh, different parts. One part, the first part is training. We can use the training to create a, a model. Then we use the model in an inference system. Then we can inference the, the image or everything to uh, become an AI application. So, a uh, puzzle uh, could be the uh, inference system, edge, edge computing and uh, AI inference system. Because uh, in the field side, uh, we can use different kind of uh, accelerator, like FPGA card, GPU card, or VPU card for the different kind of application. So, uh, I puzzle, uh, a, uh, we can provide different kind of uh, um, expense like this uh, this uh, slide we uh, provide uh, like standard PCIe so you can insert different kind of standard PCIe card for example like FPGA card VPU card or GPU card and uh, maybe you can you, you need some like a smart link you can also insert the smart smart link card in puzzle uh, system and uh, we also pre provide different kind of uh, uh, network module uh, you can see the uh, left hand side and we provide uh, like Mailbox, Appontia, Broadcom and Intel okay this uh, network module okay so uh, we, we say that puzzle uh, are the perfect uh, for the edge computing and the AI inference system because uh, we provide uh, rich uh, connectivity like uh, we provide uh, the different kind of uh, network interface like RC45, SFP, F SFP Plus or SFP28 uh, then we provide different kind of speed 1G, 2G, 
2.5G, 5G, 10G, and 25G. In the future, we are going to provide uh, 100G. And uh, for the um, uh, computing ability, like we can uh, provide like a Smarnik card and a BPU card, FPGA card, GPU card. This kind of uh, accelerator card or Smarnik card can insert in the puzzle C in a puzzle system system. And uh, the most important is uh, we have uh, Intel uh, solutions and uh, Intel solution can use uh, Intel OpenVINO toolkit to support uh, like uh, inference uh, application. So uh, so that, that's why we say uh, puzzle series are perfect for the edge computing and AI inference uh, system. Yeah, and uh, next I'm going to show you the draw map of a uh, puzzle series. You can see now there are seven uh, devices in the bottom side. Okay, I N zero zero one, I N zero zero two, A zero zero one, A zero zero two, M, A zero one, N zero zero one, and the C zero zero one. Okay. And uh, this uh, this uh, slide shows a uh, different kind of CPU and uh, uh, Smarnik or uh, network IC that we use. Uh, for the uh, CPU uh, part, uh, we use uh, x86 and ARM based solution. For the x86, we use Intel solution like uh, uh, Skydeck or uh, Skydeck D2000 uh, uh, or uh, Daviton Aten C3000 and uh, we also have a uh, uh, Coffee Lake or C246 or X310 chipset and for the MD solutions we have uh, EPIC3000 EPIC3000 is a, a server grade CPU and we also have a like entry level uh, solution R series. Okay, these are uh, our x86 solution. And uh, for the ARM based solution, we have Marvel, Kevin, and NXP. Marvel, we have uh, Amada uh, 8040, and uh, for the Kevin, we have a uh, CN A300 series CPU, and then uh, NXP, we have LS. Uh, 2084 uh, solution solutions uh, okay and uh, for the uh, network uh, IC we have uh, five major uh, network IC provider like uh, Menalux, Intel, Broadcom, Aquantia and uh, Marvell for the Marvell uh, or for the Menalux we have Connect3 and Connect4 solutions and for the Intel, we have a uh, XL710, X550, or I210, or I211 uh, 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 IC. For the Broadcom, we have a uh, uh, BMC5720, or BMC5312 IC. And uh, for uh, Aquantia, we have a uh, 10G and the uh, 1G, uh, the 10G and the uh, uh, 2.5G solutions. And uh, for Marvel, we have different kind of uh, Phi and uh, uh, Phi and the Switch solution. Uh, we have some um, many experience about uh, Marvel. Okay, this is the uh, uh, roadmap. For the uh, performance table, we have uh, uh, x86 and ARM base. For the x86, we have uh, Puzzle IN001 and uh, it can support uh, Intel uh, Xeon E CPU. It, it can provide 8 port of uh, uh, 1G Ethernet and uh, 2 uh, II network module. For the uh, AMD, we have a uh, puzzle 8001 and with uh, EPIC 3000 CPU and it can support 8, 1, 8 port 1G 
uh, Ethernet and the four uh, four port SFB plus 10G Ethernet. And uh, we have a parcel IN004. It, it is uh, under development, but uh, like we will launch it in uh, maybe in, in the next year, Q1. So uh, we use a uh, uh, Xeon D processor inside, and uh, we can provide for uh, 10G SFP plus and uh, 8 port uh, 1G Ethernet. But uh, NXP and Kevin, both of this. Uh, both of uh, these uh, devices can support a port, a combo, combo. Like combo means a uh, SFP plus and uh, RZ forty P five dual media. We can support a port uh, dual media ten uh, G solutions for these two uh, devices. And and uh, all of this uh, all of these uh, devices can support standard PCIe. Standard PCI. And uh, for the entry level, we have a uh, Intel uh, uh, Gen 8 uh, Core i CPU. And uh, we have a uh, AMD AMD Martin Falcon uh, AMD Martin Falcon solution. These two uh, devices uh, can support uh, six six port one G. Uh, 1G Ethernet and uh, these two devices can also support standard PCI cards. For the entry level, we, we also have a, a Debaton, Intel Debaton, Intel uh, A10 uh, C3000 series. There are two uh, devices with these uh, solutions. Uh, the first one can support uh, Six port of one uh, G Ethernet and then two port of ten G uh, Ethernet with uh, SFP plus, and the other one can support eight port one uh, G Ethernet. Okay, this is uh, these are uh, x eighty six entry level solution. For the on base entry level solution, we have Marvel two Marvel uh, devices. The first one is a uh, parcel M eight zero one. It can support uh, four port one G uh, Ethernet and uh, two port ten G Ethernet with uh, SFP plus. For the uh, uh, parcel M seven zero one, it can support ten port of one uh, G Ethernet. One G Ethernet. So these are uh, these two slides shows uh, our parcel series. Roadmap, and the next is uh, about our uh, PULM network modules uh, roadmap. You can see the left hand side. There are different kind of speed: one G, ten G, and the twenty five G. So we have six. Uh, we have now we have six uh, PULM network modules. For the one G, we have four port. Uh, 4 port 1G uh, Ethernet and uh, this 4 port can support two pair uh, bypass uh, functions and uh, the other 1G uh, Ethernet uh, network module card can support 8 port 1G Ethernet with uh, RJ45 for the 10G uh, for the 10G network module we have three module card different kind of uh, uh, Brand. The first one is N, uh, Intel uh, support 4 port uh, SFP plus 10G and uh, the second one is Mellon solution we can also support 4 port SFP plus to support 10G and uh, the last one is uh, Apontia this, this one is a little bit different this one can support 4 port 10G with RZ45 so the the highest speed is 25G that we we have is uh Menalux. Menalux. They can support dual port 25G with uh, SFP 80 or uh, 28 uh, interface. Okay, this six uh, network module card is our uh, that we will provide to our customer 
and uh, this six network module card can use can be used in like uh, uh, puzzle item 001, uh, puzzle A001, and the puzzle item 004. Okay. And the next, I'm going to introduce about our software development kit. So, we want to provide a, a whole system to help the developer or to help our customer create uh, their own software. So first, uh, we uh, we provide a whole system with a CPU memory, SSD, and the pre-installed Ubuntu. We install Ubuntu, so uh, customer and the developer they can uh, just open the box and uh, connect uh, the Ethernet and the power turn turn on the power. They can get into the the, the environment environment or get into the OS they are uh, familiar with. So Ubuntu, so so they will provide the the pre install Ubuntu system. And then the next, we provide a parcel finder. This is a, a utility can help uh, the customer and the developer to configure uh, our parcel uh, system, uh, to configure or to to management to manage the the parcel system. And the next, we also provide a parcel app center. So this center can this app center can help. Uh, Developer, they can install the uh, some uh, tool or install the uh, software they need to uh, verify it before before they uh, uh, develop their own software. So in the app center, we provide like a Docker, like Docker container or OVS KVM or net. Conf config this kind of uh, app to help a uh, developer verify the system. Okay. Next slide shows uh, the, our puzzle uh, software developer uh, like uh, uh, interface. Okay, puzzle finder is a web uh, management utility. You can see this. Uh, this uh, utility utility and the interface are very friendly and it can also uh, provide some information like CPU information, memory or intern is internet information and uh, we can also uh, provide uh, the puzzle finder then you can use the puzzle finder to management or configure the puzzle system So this is the the last slide that I want to show you. Uh, puzzle is a concept. Uh, puzzle, you can see there are four parts of uh, this slide. The right hand, in, in the right hand side, you can see the com about the computing. You can see uh, Intel, AMD, Marvel, NXP, and Kevin. These five CPU provided that we have. And uh, there are uh, NVIDIA, Movidia, or Intel FPGA. These three kind of uh, uh, accelerator uh, card or accelerator chips provided. So this is about the computing. We can choose uh, one of these uh, computing uh, for the puzzle. And for the network functions or network IC, we have uh, a Pontiac. Mm, Intel, Broadcom, Meralas, and we also have, of course, uh, uh, Marvel, and uh, provide different kind of inter interface and a different kind of speed, like RC45, SFP Plus, SFP28, uh, and uh, different kind of speed, 1G, 25G, 5G, 10G, 10, uh, and uh, in the future we'll provide 100G. So you, you, you can also uh, pick uh, several pieces of uh, these uh, network uh, solutions. And uh, for the left hand side, you can see different kind of software. Like uh, we have uh, 
experience of uh, NFV environment. So we can also, uh, uh, if a customer want to uh, build up an NFV uh, environment, we can also help our customer to do that. And uh, we also have a parcel finder, parcel app center, and uh, we can provide uh, like a driver and uh, any kind of application. So you can also pick a piece of uh, uh, this parcel in this area. And uh, in the bottom side, you can see there are three marks. The first one is uh, Amorink, that is uh, our uh, factory in made in China. And uh, I, I QNAP. QNAP, we have a factory in Taipei. So uh, for network uh, devices or for the network appliance, the manufacturing side is very important. For a worldwide customer, they may want their uh, network devices uh, manufactured in Taiwan. But for the mainland China customer, they, they want to manufacture their uh, network devices in mainland China. So we have uh, two uh, manufacturing sites for your choose. For your choose. So, um, parcel, you can choose uh, this four part and uh, pick one uh, pieces. Pick one, one piece of the parcel and you can combine a a perfect parcel for your own uh, device or for your own use use so and uh, this uh, is all of our my presentation and uh, if you have any question you can scan the scan the uh, QR code and get into our uh, website and uh, you can ask uh, our, any question in our website. So thank you.